I mixed everything together. This is what it's looking like. That is the most piss yellow toner I've ever seen in my whole life. Oh my god! Uh. Oh my God. Hi, beautiful. Thank you for being here. You look gorgeous, as always. Let's watch some curly hair people attempt to color their hair blonde. It's gonna be a disaster, I'm sure. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video for an incredible offer on my hair care products brought to you by YouTube. I'll just give you a hint. It includes a heavy discount. Oh, what's to be bleaching my whole head blonde? Yikes. Yikes is right. Oh my god, you have so much beautiful curly hair and it looks like it is color treated already Your ends are lighter than your roots. Your roots are dark. Your ends are kind of like this Reddish color and you're gonna try and go blonde So you have your work cut out for you like you are not working with virgin hair You are working with completely color treated hair that is different colors all of your head It is going to be a tough job to get the all lightened plus ensure that your hair does not not snap off and fall to the floor and die because that would be very very unfortunate don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on the notification bell honestly period do that for me too subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video i don't see enough of you guys liking these videos so either you hate me or you just simply forgot and that's okay but i would love if you would stop forgetting because it really helps when you like the video so thank you in advance for pressing that button oh look at you go you pressed it oh thank you so much oh and you just subscribed? Oh, and you're you're already subscribed. You're a real one. Thank you. I basically just section off my hair, and now my hair is currently like is being bleached before, as you can see. Ooh, we are doing many many sections. They are some of the craziest sections I've ever seen anybody do, but I do appreciate the effort a lot. You know, a little goes a long way for me. You just do a little something, a little something good, and I'll take it. But whoa, we got clips, we got scrunchies, we have other clips, claw clips, we have alligator clips. There's just so many clips and scrunchies and things going on, but she's being resourceful, you know, and not wasteful, because she doesn't need any more clips. She's gonna use whatever she has around the house, and she's gonna make her or like 12 sections on her head or 10 or whatever it is but i put the bleach in the little cubby cup i did five scoops of this and then i'm gonna put in my old plex duke in here okay so she's using bw2 which is always a good choice if you're really trying to like lighten the hair like crazy which i think she is she's trying to lighten that mother like crazy. My last video I said I wasn't gonna swear anymore and i you know what it sounded weird when i didn't so we're back to it we got the Olaplex dupe going in. I appreciate it. Listen, there's so many Olaplex dupes out there. Honestly, a lot of them work the same. I got 20 volume developer. So I'm not no expert here. We're just gonna pour in some. I like the way she says 20 volume. We'll see if she uses foils. She probably won't. 20 volume's fine if you're gonna heat it up, you know? It's like, it's not gonna be enough though to get her hair really light with an open air application. It's just not. I mean, she can do it multiple times, but 30 volume is just my go-to for double processes. Most people do 30 volume for double processes. Otherwise, it just doesn't lighten enough ever. You know, if you want that pale white blonde, 30 volume is your best friend unless your hair is compromised. And, um, you know, take what I say with a grain of salt because I don't know each and every one of you. I can't prescribe everything through the screen. My advice is not general. My advice pertains to the subject at hand. That is my warning for the day and for the, for the year, actually, because I don't give enough warnings when I speak. I just kind of start telling you to do shit. I'm ranting, but I'm not gonna stop. Everybody thinks that like, I think that I know everything and it's not f true. And I expect every one of you who's listening to me right now, I'm saying right now, I don't think I'm the best. I don't think I know everything and I never claim to. So every time you see anybody saying that me, I think I know everything and that I'm the da -da 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 best, best, everything's the best, me, I'm the best. Just be like, Brad actually never f said that loser. He actually said the opposite. He doesn't think he's the best at everything. I am an entertainer. I simply entertain people. I know a lot about hair, but I'm an entertainer. So I'm gonna stop. Okay, I mixed it up in this thing. That's what it's looking like. 
Maybe it's supposed to be liquidy, I don't know. That looks like a great consistency for what you're about to do to your hair. A little bit of a thicker consistency. Not like peanut butter thick, but kind of a, I was gonna say mayonnaise. Like mayonnaise consistency? Who the fuck says that? Like a cream? No, like a mousse? No. Toothpaste with a little more water mixed in maybe. That kind of consistency is usually good for open air applications because it stays pretty moist for a long period of time and uh, it allows you to layer on thicker amounts of lightener without it dripping off and without it drying out quickly. I'm kind of nervous. I'm gonna do everywhere but my roots because I know the roots come last. All right, so she knows that the roots come last. That's great, but is she going to go up to an inch from her scalp or is she gonna leave out three inches like everybody else has been lately? Y'all don't do the root first, but you'll leave out three or four inches and then you just get end up with orange banding because you didn't go high enough on your midsections. You know, it's, it's like you're trading one problem for another sometimes, guys. Listen, she's definitely layering that bleach on thick, but we are not doing any more sectioning than these six going on in her head right now, which I hate. F hate that. F hate it. F can you f Let's make up for all the swearing I didn't do in a, a video a couple videos ago. Every video I film, we cut out the parts where I'm like, where am I? But every single time I film, I forget where. I literally forget I'm sitting here because I've been here for f five years. And sometimes I just, I zone out while I'm speaking. I have a lot of energy today, even though it's like, 8.30 p.m. So she's not sectioning more than just the six sections she did. Not a great idea, because this lightener is gonna have a hard time getting through all those layers. She's gonna have little spots where you didn't color it enough. We are though going up to about an inch from the root, which is great. I love to see that. That's gonna really help create an even canvas. This way she's likely to get no banding from going too far from the root and then doing the roots later. But we shall see. You know, you never really know until, until they get to the end of the uh, first round of coloring. Usually they're horrible, but sometimes they're decent and sometimes they're great. Very rarely they're great, but they sometimes are. And we are using foils, so that's cool. So 20 volume, I'll take it. She's definitely heating it up. She's doing pretty big foils and the more hair in the foil, the less effective the foil kind of is in a way, if that makes any sense. Basically, you're going to get less heat distribution throughout each hair strand if you have more hair in the foil. So just be careful putting too much in. It is going to reduce the efficacy of the foil. That word is always hard for me to say, but I got it the first time today. This is the color. The ends are a little bit darker than like the roots and stuff, which is understandable. Period. Okay, I mean, listen, she did a good job. A decently good job. I mean, obviously it's not even at all. And obviously I can't see my screen because it's so bright in here. I gotta do something about that. I basically just like rinsed it out. I didn't wash it out yet because the little directions on the packet. It said to just rinse out the hair and then put it in. Is it resembling ramen noodles not yet so that's good also a little bit lighter and we'll get some ramen noodle going but we gotta even this hair out and we gotta lighten it more it's really at the yellowy orange stage and uh you know i don't know if the yellow orange stage is for her i think that we're gonna need to really lift this a lot more to get it looking right with her skin tone also the ends yeah definitely need to be evened out she could definitely get away with using 30 volume on the ends and 20 volume on the mids and things would probably come out pretty even at this point it's looking a little orangey like girl what the hell's going on but i I am gonna tone it and then I'm gonna do my hair as regular. No, actually, I'm just gonna like wash it out and then put a toner in. All right, guys, I'm gonna say it again today because I say it every video when it comes to bleach. Toner doesn't lift your hair. So if your hair is dark and you put toner on it, it is not going to bring your hair lighter. It just stays the same level and the tone changes. It's called a toner. Toner. A tone represents if it's more cool, warm, neutral. It doesn't represent lightening the hair. Toner. So if your hair is this dark and you're trying to be blonde, it's not gonna bring you there. You gotta lighten your hair more. I rinsed out the little step two for the all the plaques thing. I didn't like shampoo rinse the rinse. I put in the purple shampoo. I'm gonna let this sit here for probably like at least 20 minutes. I'm gonna see what it's looking like at 20 minutes. All right, so we're just toning with purple shampoo, which is gonna do even less than if we were to try and use a actual toner. Anyways, we're just gonna see what it's looking like. This is what it's looking like. In 20 minutes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wash it out. It's not looking like anything's changed. What a surprise. Sometimes I wish I could actually be there for each and every one of you while you color your hair because it's just, sometimes it's just obvious that it's not gonna work. Actually, 90% of the time it's obvious. Okay, we're back. I put in a little deep conditioning mask. I don't think that purple shampoo really did something, y'all. Nothing happened. Her hair looks exactly the same. Okay, y'all, so it's been like 
a week since you all last seen me. What? When did her hair get this blonde? What? She didn't even bleach it again. What happened? Where have I been? She's been away for a week, but I've been right here. But I've been sitting here waiting for my toner to come in. It looks exactly like my hair, which is like a real disappointment. That toner does look exactly like your current hair. What is the plan here? I don't even know what to say. Why are we toning it if it's the same exact color? Okay, y'all, so I mixed everything together. Pretty much just eyeballed it. I didn't really know how much that had, but this is what it's looking like. It's thick, but it's like not thick. That is the most piss yellow toner I've ever seen in my whole life. Whoa. <laughs> cool. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> We'll see what happens here. <laughs> what? She is doing the work on distributing this toner correctly though. Who I will say. If I were to cut corners, it'd be when the toner is involved. You know, just, you can kind of get away with putting it on your whole head and combing the whole thing through. But then people tend to like do that with the bleach and then like really take their time with the toner, which I would rather you do the opposite. You know, if we had to pick one. Also, since she just mixed 20 volume with this toner, it is gonna have some lightning power to it. And it's probably gonna turn her roots orange. If she's lucky, it might just turn them blonde. But she does have a little bit of a root going on and that's not a good idea to apply permanent toner on top of regrowth also since this is a permanent toner she's got to watch out for hot roots still um the roots will just process lighter from the heat and the ends will process darker because there's a lack of heat okay so i just put everything in my hair so i'm gonna just be back in 20 minutes it's supposed to like oxidize and change color a little bit oh no it's looking a little bit orange Hope it don't turn my hair brown, I'm be mad. Okay, y'all, so it's been almost 20 minutes. Timer's still going, got a minute left. This is what it's looking like. I'm a bow dry and everything, Do my hair is normal. This is pretty much the finished product. My curls are still here. They just are different. It's more like dried out curls. The toner didn't really like do anything to my roots. It wasn't expected for us to do anything. Did the toner do anything? Undecided, not sure, hard to see. Does it look phenomenal? Yes, what? The moment she let that hair down and her curls out what dude it looks sick your hair looks incredibly good like amazingly good and you rock <laughs> this color it's like still yellowy orange but i gotta be honest i was wrong you killed that oh and with like a good makeup look oh shit. It would be phenomenal. Nothing like a good beat on the face to make the hair come all together. You know what I mean? Even for me, I gotta get a little beat on to feel real good. Well, I'm gonna be coloring my hair for the first time ever. This is my first time ever bleaching my hair. First time ever coloring my hair or anything. I don't know why, but this already seems like pure chaos. Like she hasn't done anything or said anything wrong. The energy is like pure chaos. So as y'all can see, my hair is very, very damaged. I wasn't gonna say it, cause like, I, I don't know. Sometimes I just feel bad, like just telling somebody your hair is fuck. But your hair is fuck. And we're about to absolutely destroy it, huh? At least she knows. It's nice when people know. When people are aware that like, all right, this sh gonna be crazy because my hair is fuck already to begin with. And then we're just gonna put on more bleach. I think people just think also like, no, 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 I can push it and then my hair will not fall off. I've done it before, but no, one day your shit's gonna actually fall off. I said about my own hair. My hair, I tend to just color it and color it and color it and color it. And then sometimes it just <laughs> happens to snap off all of a sudden. And I'm like, all right. The limit is six rounds of bleach on my hair. Believe it or not, actually, my hair is fully bleached underneath this. Like, it is fully dull processed. Because I had that red moment going on, like, a couple weeks ago. Hated it. So, um, in order to fully get rid of that, I had to completely lighten my entire head. And then, um, color it back to dark. And now, I can tell you, I am very satisfied with my hair color. Even though, um, I just uploaded that video of my hair reddish. Kind of like coppery, dark, reddish, brown, orange color and everybody was complimenting me and now it's gone okay my hair is basically very heat damaged like my hair was so healthy and now it's damaged like i literally just took braids out y'all and look how straight my hair is my hair has never looked like this before my hair is straight and damaged as ever yeah your hair is definitely very very damaged and um you know what it needs some great curly products to bring it back to life and bring out those curls and lucky for you i have just the thing for you and it is a, my brand new product for curly and wavy hair wave tech next gen wave conditioning mist i did name it and i do forget the names every single time this stuff is incredible for moisturizing your strands giving the perfect foundation for your curly hair or your wavy hair routine it is deeply conditioning makes your hair so shiny and just brings out the overall health of your hair also though we didn't stop there guys we also have a brand new product called our wave tech super flex wave gel i like 
like that name a lot. You guys have asking for a gel form of our wave tech wave form, which is our number one bestseller. And now we have it in gel form, which I know curly girls out there love their gels. This thing is incredible for giving you that perfectly defined wave without the crunch and just the most shiny, glossy waves possible. It's a miracle product. And lastly, one of my favorite and most interesting inventions to date for wavy and curly hair that I did come up with. I mean, I come up with all these products myself, but this is our WaveTech Wave Setting Spray Max Hold. You know what a makeup setting spray is, but I then created the hair version of it for curly and wavy hair. So I know that some people want curlier hair, want wavier hair. After your curly or wavy your hair routine is finished, you spray this in your hair and it is going to lock in those waves and give you the most defined waves possible. After it dries, you're just gonna scrunch out that cast and you'll be left with the most defined waves you've had ever. This is great for people with less wavy hair or less curly hair looking to enhance their waves overall and enhance their curl pattern. Incredible. And obviously all these products have WaveFlex technology built into them, which is our proprietary blend of ingredients that is in all of our WaveTech products. Our WaveTech products are the best selling line of products products that we have to offer. I know waves and I know curls. Y'all really trust me with the creation of these products and they continue to be our best sellers. All three of these brand new WaveTech products along with the rest of our WaveTech family of products are now available. And just like I said in the beginning of today's video, I have a special gift for all of you from YouTube. These three feature products are now 20% off for the next five days if you shop through YouTube shopping. So thanks again to YouTube and make sure you get these products now while you can with the discount. Thank you, Iconic Products. I'm putting you back over here because I need to know what happens to this girl's hair. I'm gonna section my hair into fours to make it easier. Y'all, eventually I'ma cut my hair though. Eventually I'ma cut it all off. The only reason I am dyeing my hair is because like it's already damaged. I don't really care about it being damaged more because like, can't get no worse than this. I will correct you. It can actually definitely get much worse than that. Your hair could actually detach from your head if you push it too far. I'm just here to tell you, it could, could definitely be worse. And y'all, yesterday I cut my hair when I was taking my braids out. Look at this. You see how short it is right here? Oh, what? What's going on? We are going in with the trusty 30 volume and some powder lightener. Love to see it. Love a 30 volume. I think it is the ultimate developer. So you always want to start with the ends of your hair and then work your way up. All right, we're about to apply. Let's see if we can get this right. An inch from the scalp, sections, apply a lot. And get it in there and do it fast. Brush out this section real quick. Start at the bottom. Yeah, you really want to move fast with this. Did she just repeat everything I said? What the f was that about? She goes, we're gonna work from the ends up, we're gonna go whatever from the scalp, and we're gonna work fast. Uh, what? Can you hear me through the screen? Hello? Can you hear me? I think you can. Obviously with any kind of natural hair or curly hair, it is prone to be much drier than any other hair texture. So bleaching it is always risky. And a lot of the time you see a lot of breakage with curly hair just because the hair is already pretty dry. And then you're putting something that dries the shit out of your hair. Even more on top of that. Woo! We're going with the bleach brushing method, which is great. I've said in the past, like if you guys really want to, you can definitely brush the bleach through the hair. Is it the best way of doing it? No. Will it make your application much more even? Yes. Yeah. So if you're okay with taking the risk of it potentially snapping your hair off just because when you uh, have bleach in your hair, it makes your hair a little more compromised, a little more stretchy, a little more elastic, and then you're really roughing it up by combing it or brushing it through, for sure it's not the best idea, but 90% of the time it's gonna be fine, and it's really gonna get that lightener on every single strand. And now after you brush it, you gotta make sure you reapply the excess bleach that rubbed off onto the brush, because you don't want it to be a thin, layer of bleach on the hair. You want it to be thick. You want it to be really layered on there. All right, well, we de definitely applied just directly to the root. F what I said about <laughs> leaving the roots out. I thought she said that they didn't. Um, nope, we're just applying right straight on it. The lighter looks like it's doing its job. It is definitely lightening the hair very nicely and it looks to be pretty even so far. I'm a little worried about those roots over processing though. That's definitely for sure a risk that we are probably gonna see happen. Oh my God. Hi y'all, so 
My hair is changing colors. I'm actually gonna sit under the dryer for a couple minutes. It is for sure changing colors and it is changing into multi colors. Like if there's different colors on our entire head. And I wouldn't sit under a dryer. You can sit under a steamer. I like that. But a dryer tends to just dry the bleach out. I mean, it is good that she is about to apply it back to her head because it will tend to keep more of that moisture in the hair and allow that lightener to get a little more warm to lift brighter, lighter, faster. A little trick I like to do is actually spray the bag with water and then apply it to the head. Just a little bit of water goes a long way. All right, just to get moisture in that bag because then the heat from your scalp will steam up that moisture and keep it nice and wet inside the bag so nothing gets dry because nobody wants to be dry. Everybody wants to be wet these days, you know? I see a missing spot back there. I see a dark spot. It's looking blonde. Her hair washing is a third of this video. Can I see the results? Y'all, so this is how my hair turned out. I just finished washing it. Um, I'm about to moisturize it, and I love, love, love how it turned out. My hair looks beautiful, y'all. Like, okay, it looks crazy right now, but the color is there. The color is beautiful. You know, sometimes I just can't contain like the things that I want to say, and today's one of those days. Her hair looks like a bonsai tree. What are the, no? What are the what are those like drippy looking trees called? I I don't know. They're very beautiful trees, but I'm not sure I like it on somebody's head. Oh my god, what the hell? Weeping willow. Oh! Yes! Her hair looks like a weeping willow tree. If her hair was green, it would look even more like that. But um, yeah, we weeping willow, which is a vibe as fuck. All right, well, I will say um, it was even looking through the screen, um, which is impressive, so great job with that. However, I will say I wish we toned it and maybe even cut it shorter. I think a good like two inches on your hair would look really nice. Like an Afro style would look really great on you. I just don't know about the Weeping Willow vibes with this haircut. Not for me, and uh, maybe the tone could be much better. I feel like she would honestly look good with that copper color the last girl did, or that like that sort of, that sort of orangey color. It would also look really great on her but this this just looks unfinished I'm kind of saddened We are starting with very dark, what seems to be virgin hair, which should be very easy to color. Um, sorry, I just got distracted. I paused the screen and it looks like her friend is choking her out. And it looks like uh, the girl is fully passed out. I don't know until I press play if she is dead or not. I'm gonna press play now. This is how you <laughs> take birth out. <laughs> Turns out she's okay. <laughs> Maybe not. Do you need my help? Are you watching this video? Do you need my help? Call me. This is roommate abuse. So obviously I first start out by combing out all my hair just to make the process easier when applying the bleach. Great idea to pick the hair before applying the bleach because sometimes when hair is this curly, it's just hard to work all that lightener through each section. It kind of just clumps up together and it's hard to kind of dig through it. But if you pick it out first, you can much more easily section things and get the lightener on every single hair strand. What would be even better is if we blow dried it as straight as possible just to get some of that curl out so we know that we are getting every little hair and it also just further makes it easier to section the hair. These are the products that I use. Everything that I use will be listed down below. We're doing 30 volume again. Honestly, I just get so happy when people use 30 volume. I just love 30 volume. I don't know what it is about 30 volume for me. It's been the most stable thing in my whole life. I could just never use any developer ever again and just use 30 volume and be the happiest person alive. I would make it work for any situation. All right, with hair like this, it's pretty easy not to fuck it up because you can really do whatever you want and it should be even. Your only priority is to get this on the hair as quickly as possible because everything else will fall into place if you just get it on quickly and try to get on every single hair strand possible. Also, this is a great case where you can just comb it through. Short hair, there's really like nearly zero risk of breaking it off when it's this short. It's gonna take a whole lot of bleach to break this off and a whole lot of rounds of bleach. The risk is kind of at like zero. The only thing I wouldn't recommend doing is starting at the front of the hairline like that. You could have started anywhere else <laughs> and it would have been better. So good job picking the worst place to start. The hair is still very dark, which makes me nervous. Hopefully they leave it in long enough to lighten properly. You know, sometimes people do all the right steps and then just don't leave the lightener in long enough, which is unfortunate because that's the easiest thing to do is just let it process. Actually, it's not the easiest thing 
me to do. It's actually one of the hardest things to do for me because I just want the hair to be done immediately. I don't want to wait at all. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I get why you guys rinse it off right away. It makes sense. But 45 minutes to an hour is usually good for, for dull processes. Now listen, I am not a tender-headed person, but let me tell you, for some reason, this was hurting. If you have 4C hair, you know the pain. I don't know for some reason, I don't know. It was. It was hurting. Okay, it's likely hurting because you probably have freshly washed hair. It looks like your hair was very clean before starting this. And uh, yeah, not recommended. When you shampoo your hair, you're putting tiny little abrasions on your scalp and then you apply bleach to it. And that bleach just seeps into those little tiny abrasions and it's very painful. But I'm really happy we're combing the lightener through. That was what I was hoping we were gonna do. So great job with that. Wow, she's using a tail comb to ensure that the lightener is through every single hair strand on every Every little section. Wow, I am impressed as f Great job with that. So after applying everything, we just put a shower cap on my head. Um, and we blow dried it a little bit just to fasten the process. Guys, listen to me. Don't blow dry your bleached hair. It is unsafe and it does not help. I know some people are gonna be like, yeah, it does. It makes your hair lighter, faster, da 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 da, da. Just trust me, it doesn't, it just doesn't help. And you're just not gonna do it right. Like there are ways to do it that just, it's gonna take too long for me to explain. Just don't do it. This was right before I went to go wash my hair. It was over anyway, and so. this is one of my hair afterwards. It was you want me to dry quite it? yellowish. The color is looking good. Could we have left it on for another 10 minutes, 15 minutes? Yeah. Would it have been lighter and brighter? Yeah. But I don't mind this like a little bit of a yellow tinge for you. I think it looks great with deeper skin tones. So I'm not mad. I think when it's too bright on deeper skin tones, it's very contrasty. So she blow dried it a little bit and then we went ahead and applied a another layer of bleach and developer. Oh, we are doing a round two of bleach. I don't think we really needed another one. I think it would've been fine if you just toned that, but let's do it. Let's see what happened. Will it break off? I don't know. And we're getting every single hair strand. We are doing the damn thing. We are getting every single piece of hair. Honestly, you're putting in more work than you probably even needed to, <laughs> which I love. Be diligent with it. You know, get on every single strand. This girl must be a hairdresser. And if you're not, you got some natural skills because you're doing a very, very nice job. I mean, most people even in hair school can't do this good of a job. So, great job. <gasps> so, this is great. <laughs> this is after the second wash. Like, the front looks green, but the middle doesn't. It's too fast. I'm, are you trying to get my scalp to fall? She rinsed it off. Her hair is like green. I don't really know how that happened. Well, I do know how it happened. Her hair was yellow and she put blue bleach on top of it. So the hair turned green because blue and yellow make green. So that's what happened there. And she's like, my scalp hurt. Yeah, you, you really don't necessarily want to lighten the hair on scalp two times in a row. It is horribly painful and not recommended. No, like the, the middle is more platinum than the front is green. Look, look. It's light. Uh, yeah, it's really green. All right, we are choosing purple shampoo as our toner today. And I'm fine with that for her because her hair is already very light. She doesn't really need much toning at all unless she wants to make the tone more of a yellowy tone, which I would recommend. I don't think the silver is the right choice for her, but her hair is already green and she's gonna put purple over it. That's just ugly. Is it back yellow? <laughs> it's okay. All we care about is the front. Look, look at the camera. On camera, it looks platinum. Okay, see, so this is where you see the bluish. I'm gonna be honest with you, on the, on the camera, it also looks green. Okay, round two of toner. I think this is toning conditioner now. This is what it looks like in daylight. Ooh, child. Yeah, see, it's slightly, whatever. But I'm gonna style it. We are platinum blonde, babes. This is my hair now. Oh, fuck. that is light as hell. So I was about to say like, I'm not totally vibing with it. It's just way too light for her, but then she shaved it. Now it is a look. Yes, that is your vibe. Keep it shaved, keep it blonde. This looks dope, but whatever that thing was before, wasn't really feeling it, especially in the daylight. Ah, uh, that was scary. I was like, <gasps> 
Whoa, that's um, a fucking light bulb on your head and a fluorescent one. And nobody likes a fluorescent light bulb. Well, I felt a roller coaster of emotions there. The results actually were pretty good overall. Decent. I think I'm more and more shocked every time I watch these videos and how decent the work is. <laughs> so, pat yourself on the back, but not too much. You still have a lot of room to grow. Make sure you guys shop The Real Deal on YouTube and get 20% off my three brand new wave tech products now right down below you can shop it have fun and i hope you love your curly hair more than ever when you get these products and make sure if you get them make some content i would love to react to it and that's all for today thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye